There is a common idea that has been pushed by mainstream science for over a hundred years now, and it's called germ theory. This idea is that disease comes from germs, rather than from your environment or from pollution. The competing theory to germ theory is called terrain theory. Antoine Bachamp was an outspoken proponent of terrain theory. The idea that disease comes from a polluted terrain, your environment, or in other words, from chemicals and pollution in your air, water, food, and medication. Terrain theory on its face just seems much more logical to me than God created a planet with tiny little viruses flying around everywhere, trying to kill everyone, or bacteria lurking on every countertop, surface, and water drop waiting to poison you. That just doesn't make sense. Why would a creator design a planet like that? It seems like a terrible design, and therefore the theory doesn't make sense to me, and many people besides myself. There have been many, many, many opponents to germ theory over the last century since its initial launch into mainstream education, but they have been largely hidden from the media as most truth is today. Flus are not contagious, they are a seasonal detoxification of the body. Do you ever wonder why everyone gets the flu at the same time every year? It's not because we get it from one another, it's because it's the season our bodies tend to cleanse the body out most often. Right after winter when we are cooped up indoors without much sunshine to boost the immune system and keep us at our peak health and clean the toxins from our environment. The idea that flu viruses are contagious is a total illusion, like most things in this world are. Once you start waking up to the truth of your physical world, you realize that most, if not all of this, is an illusion, including the idea of contagious disease. And when you have no no bacteria and no fungus or no parasites to do that, your body uses virus. And viruses are not alive. They have no they have no respiratory system, they have no nucleus. Why is it why it isn't contagious. Okay, why the kids at the school and everybody's all of a sudden got coughing and there's 9,000 kids that are sick. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They say the flu. Because it's seasonal. Seasonal. And how is that yeah, catching it seasonal. from the You're other You're not person. catching it. You're not catching it's it. It's seasonal. You're gonna have, that's like saying bears are contagious. You know, the bears come out of hibernation, let's say, in, in Colorado first. And then they move up to Iowa, and then Dakotas, Wyoming, and then it goes into Canada and up to Alaska. That's like saying bears are contagious. Seasonal, they go in into a hibernation, they come out of hibernation. So it's like seasonal. Exactly. Sometimes so they somebody. They're eliminating it. Pardon? They're eliminating it. They're eliminating it. Whatever they have, when they get sick, it's just elimination. Yeah, it's eliminating whatever the virus has broken down. Remember the bird flu scare? When the media had everyone scared they were going to get a deadly virus from a bird. What a ridiculous idea. You can't get viruses from other people and especially not from other animals. This is not how the world and our bodies were designed. Viruses are dead proteins, not alive and without respiratory or circulatory systems, or a nucleus. Birds have viruses from eating diseased bugs that are full of pesticides, and their bodies produce viruses to remove the pesticides from their system. Okay, Joe? Um, I've been hearing these bird pandemic advertisements like crazy last week, every day, uh, four or five times on the radio. Well, you have to understand, they've got this swine flu vaccine already now. So they want to scare as many people into taking these vaccines as possible. Oh, it's a very scary way they talk. To oh, yes, absolutely. Very serious. And let very me tell serious. you, there's no, there's no pandemic. All birds have viruses today because of all the pesticides we have, all the disease bugs that they eat. So they can't use um, parasites and bacteria to cleanse themselves anymore. They have to use viruses. Have you ever wondered how mainstream science keeps coming up with these concepts that viruses replicate? Well, what happens in a petri dish does not correlate with what happens in a human body. The petri dish is sterile, unlike the human body. 
So those cells in the petri dish become contaminated in that fertilized environment without any bacteria as a shield and they start producing virus. Where you put live cells in a petri dish, remember it's sterile. It's not like in the human body, even though our blood is considered sterile. There's bacteria and everything in there, but they consider it non-active when it's in the bloodstream. However, when you put it in a petri dish, it is not like in the human body. So those cells start getting contaminated by that fertilized uh, environment, and they start making viruses to clean themselves. So that's why there are, that's why the growing or the production of virus is so high in a petri dish. There have been many studies that have tried to transmit virus from one person to the other and they have failed every time. There has never been a controlled study done on two populations where one was vaccinated and one wasn't, and then measured for virus after. You would think with all the vaccines being pushed, they would do a study like this, but there never has. They are basing their virus on a theory, never anything that has actually been proven. It is all an illusion and much of the world is falling for it. Fear is the currency of the media. They want you to be scared. If you pay attention, all the news stories based on keeping you scared, full of fear, doubt, and worry. This is all evil and a way to control you. Never be scared of anything, it's a scam. Never believe anything from mainstream media, for they are a corporation trying to make money on you from advertisers. They don't make money telling you the truth. The truth comes for free if you pay attention and just listen to your intuitions. They don't want you to know this because nobody will keep watching their channels anymore if everyone finds out God gave you the truth for free written in your heart. Once you clean your body and mind out from standard processed food and get on a natural diet, the truth will become revealed to you more clear than you could ever imagine. The health of your soul depends to a certain extent on the health of your body because the body houses the soul. Clean your diet, clean your mind, free your soul, and connect yourself to the source directly to all of the truth and information, and nobody can control you, manipulate you, or sell you lies anymore. Think for yourself, never have an expert, guru, or teacher think for you. The real teachers will show you the truth is inside you and cannot be found in a book or from anyone else. Disease is a major problem today, and we have to understand how these things work in order to bring peace to ourselves. Who doesn't want peace? Without peace, we cannot have love, and without love, suffering will have no end. Thanks for watching, everyone.